Hello everyone. Just waiting for more people to come on, which I see are none in here. I'm going to be talking about random topics here. Let me know if you can hear me. I want to make sure everyone can hear me. So everyone can have their opportunity to speak. I was going to cancel this live show because I have so many video scripts and things to record. It's just uh, not enough time in the day. I tell you, just not enough freaking time. I haven't posted on my blog in, gosh, goodness, a week. Ten days, I believe, is the estimate time. <laughs> I need to start posting on that, but I'm only one person, you know, only one person. I can't do everything myself. I wish I could, but I'm not. Yep, yep, yep. So who do we have in the room today? I don't see anyone in the room anyway. So if I don't get anyone in the room, I'm just going to go ahead and end this live feed and call it a day and then delete it off my um playlist because what's the point of even having it no one's even here only one person oops you know what i mean i mean what is the point of having a live feed when no one fucking shows up i just got to recording the episode of keisha's gossip and truth believe it or not <laughs> yep and I recorded an episode of Kiki sure did it was quite fun by the way and I was drinking real wine which I shouldn't have done so if I'm a little buzzed that's because I hate that I drank it this early Ugh, makes my stomach hurt hi Indra Jasmine how you doing, Nap? How you doing, Miriam? Hope I miss hope I pronounced that correctly. Hi, Life with Angie. How you doing? Hi, all of my regulars. I love you guys. You guys are so extremely supportive. Hi, Vanessa. I love the support. This is just an ex Keisha, you know, just ask me whatever you want to ask me. There is no specific topic. I have got a lot of a lot of DMs. Um, the Haitian thing. I'm working on a video with that. I have an angle that I'm trying to pull and pertain into that. And you guys are going to love it. You're going to love it. Although I'm very disappointed. I saw those photos and I saw my people. And I was so hurt. I mean, I had to hold back tears. That's why I put in my um, description section on my Instagram. No worries. Because I, I couldn't... Hmm. I just, uh, and just think, you know, it was m m predominantly the black community who voted for Biden. So disappointing. Well, I know, you know, we're going to be voting for his ass next election, that's for sure. But, um, this is very devastating. I mean, I hear, how do you want to get into all those serious topics? Anyways, this particular um, ex, Keisha, is ask me anything you want to ask me about relationships, about me, of those certain questions. Predominantly, the black... Sorry about that. Of those certain questions, I would not be answering because I have every right to say no. But um, anything else you want to ask me, this is the time to do it because I'm not going to be doing these ex Keisha's very often because no one, you know, volunteers anyway. <laughs> So, if you want to call in because you have a question or you never, by any topic that I had prior to this whole live feed, this is the time to do it. Okay? This is the time to do it. But, yes, I just got through recording some videos. I found some information. I found some information about Kanye that I'm a little disappointed about. And I am so... Hmm. I don't know. It's, it was some information that I was not looking forward to finding. Now, sometimes I hate my researching skills because then I bump across things that I really shouldn't be, This, you know, 
sometimes my research can get me into some trouble. <laughs> oh my gosh, you have no idea. I did a story about Marvin Gaye, Indra. I did a story about Marvin Gaye, and they flagged it. It may be still on um, the Truth Show. I'm not sure, but I did a story about Marvin Gaye by his father. I went really in depth it with it. Um, it may be on the Truth Show Deluxe page. I'm not sure, but I did a story about Marvin Gaye a long time ago. They flagged it, of course, like they do any bios I do. You know, that is the reason why I don't do a lot of missing stories as well. Because they always flag them. And I don't get paid for it or it doesn't show up in people's feeds. When a video gets flagged, that means they're not pushing for anyone to watch it. And you're not getting paid for it. And they already hacking my shit anyway. So, on top of getting flagged, it's like, okay, I'm not going to keep it up here. So I ended up taking it either put it on my Patreon, and then they was getting shady where they was going to my Patreon account, you know, becoming a member and striking that even though it wasn't even publicized on their platform. Yes, I'm in the process of contacting a lawyer. A few law firms didn't want to take the case because they thought it was insignificant, but I'm here to tell you this would have been the biggest case of your entire career. So you really passed a go nougat, idiots. So... Yeah, I am definitely on my life in the process of seeking the Lord. And I'm this hacker who's ever embezzling all this money from me. Uh, you guys have no idea what's been happening. It's been some strange things happening to me. I, it's not dimension. It's not paranoia. It's really strange where other people outside of my circle who thought I was crazy as hell are starting to... Okay, this is strange. They're starting to question some things as well. I'm not crazy. Someone is literally hacking my page. And all of my pages. I got, got one paycheck off TikTok. One. It was over hundred some dollars. And I only posted maybe three videos. I think I posted a video about Donald Trump. It went viral. I got a hundred and some dollar check from that. You know, and then I posted some videos. I was like, okay, this is cool. This is prior to... Uh, they were doing all the crap to my... Well, there's no time strength for that. I've been doing that since whenever with my YouTube page. And I was like, okay, this is cool. One minute videos. Just get up there and talk. Okay, fantastic. I got a gazillion stories, you know. Soon as that word got around, it was over. It was done. <laughs> done. Don't get paid no more. My check's $5. I don't even bother cashing in my check at TikTok anymore. I got one check from um, Facebook. I was going viral with that. Got the biggest paycheck I ever got in that fast in one month time in my entire career YouTube and Facebook. I was starting to look great, but then the white racist people started threatening me and striking and reporting my videos, and that was all she wrote with that. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. And now, my views are being manipulated, and my money's being manipulated, so the views you see on my videos are not real. They are being manipulated. And the subscribers are being manipulated. Because I've been having the same subscribers on this particular page for going on two years now. Yeah. When it goes up, in 48 hours, those subscribers that subscribe from whatever video I had goes down. I had a video that I actually made about Jennifer Lopez that I know went viral. Has had the same amount of views since... Pretty much the day I posted it. And you and I know that's physically impossible. So there are definitely some sketchy things going on. That is my story. I hope that opens the door for any other confessions. But when I am looking for a lawyer, I am looking for a lawyer for all those who are burnt, who are being embezzled, taken advantage of, being blackballed, and all the above from platforms. Okay? Not just YouTube platforms, period. Our voices are going to be heard, even if it's the death of me. Well, I do talk about, Jasmine, I do talk about some very serious things. And, you know, a lot of people don't want me talking about it. Apparently, you know, how I was talking about, I think I posted it on the Truth Show where I said, um, what's that, lipstick? Oh, oh I'm not sure there, okay. Um, I, I believe I posted on a Truth Show. And I posted that... I'm always being picked apart in terms of grammar, pronunciation, and 
you know, all of those kinds of things and other channels can butcher things and they don't. You know, sometimes it, the person's voice can trigger a lot of feelings. And if you if if you have two people and I, we say the same thing, but when I say it, I get criticized, but the other person said nothing happens. So apparently people have that gift, I guess, where their voice alerts people and people pay attention. And sometimes it, it signals or trigger feelings in them that they didn't know they had. I think I spoke about that in previous videos where people who have these gifts and they have this uh, aura about them. Uh, the demons within the other people who don't like these auras about these people start to get nasty and they bring out their claws and they want to attack you and everything. Those feelings cannot be turned away. So if you ever walked in a room and you feel nothing but negativity, that's why. Because you are more likely an emotional empath or some kind of gifted person, whereas you can feel the energy of the people in that room. Okay? So if you have that good innocent aura about you how would you think going into a room where the, all these people are probably possessed by demons or being manipulated by demons how do you think the demons in them are going to act just by you saying hello that vibration triggers something in their brain and in their feelings and they are out to kill you know Martin Luther King voice really triggered a lot of emotions and a lot of anger within the black community and white community because all white people are not racist and it made people motivated to fight back. A lot of people have that gift by voice. Gift of voice. I understand that. I understand. I didn't want to do it this early, but I do have other things I need to do. So I'm like, okay, if I'm not going to call in, I'm just going to go ahead and just tell my story. I know, Vanessa. I know. I know. That's what I'm saying. When I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it for everyone, not just me. I'm praying they see the light of day and I don't even have to go to these extremes because I am grateful for YouTube. I'm grateful for them. I don't even know if the creators of YouTube know this is even going on on their platform. I mean, they probably don't even know what the heck is going on. You know what I mean? It could just be some hackers just seriously taking advantage of YouTube's platform. Who knows? Yeah. If I don't... I'm hoping too, Indra. Yeah. But yeah, <clears throat> yeah, it is very challenging, um, Sharon, of your gift. It's very challenging. I Oh, thank you, Sharon. <laughs> it is challenging, and it, what I write, I have not, I have a confession. I have not been meditating. I haven't meditated lately because I've been so busy. I need to, I need to. <laughs> but I haven't been, and I'm going to meditate tonight, you know, it's just, my husband working a lot of crazy shifts, and by the time he gets home, he being, I like to meditate in our bedroom, because it's, you know, we have our own floor, and it's private or whatever, but he be up there sleeping, and you know, so, I gotta find somewhere else to meditate, I probably just meditate in my office, for now on, because, you know, that's the only way I'm gonna have privacy anyway. Good evening, Sharita, how you doing? Welcome to our ex, Keisha, I'm just talking about random things. And yes, yeah, Sharon, um, vampires are real. Energy vampires are real. There are certain people who who literally likes to drain energy from everyone. A lot of people accuse Beyonce of being this energy vampire. I don't know if that's true or not, but it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So meditation is definitely a good thing. You definitely have to meditate. And you have to stay prayed up as well. You know? Sometimes it sucks being yourself, and it sucks. You have no idea. I've been wanting to close my my platforms a long time ago, several times over. I've been wanting to just say, forget it. I'm done. I can't deal with this anymore. But something always keeps me holding on. You know, you guys keep me, you know, you know, in the fight, not giving up. Because I, I've been wanting to say... The shit, you know? 
You know, I'm not getting paid anyway. And then you see your predecessors and you see your competition just moving up, moving up, and they do the bare minimum. And his stories are so copycatted and so not heavily researched, just lazy journalism. And I'm like, okay, I have to do, I have to, if I give that kind of lazy journalism, my subscribers will call me. I get called out for mispronouncing names. <laughs> Shit. Excuse my language, but it's annoying. <laughs> you know, I'm like, God, why do I have to be put at a, a higher level than people who don't even put their effort in? I'm not getting paid like them. They're staying in condos and cottages by the lakefront. You know, they're living nice. Sweet. I barely get $500 from these platforms. You kidding me? I'm practically doing it for free. Shit. You know, <laughs> just being realistic. And then it really annoys me. I'm just going to go ahead and talk because y'all are not going to call in anyway. So y'all going to hear me talk. And then it's really crazy because, and I was talking to my daughter about this and everyone pretty much. I was like, it's amazing how I, my daughter was telling about these gaming platforms where they get so many donations where they have to tell their donations to chill out a little bit so they can concentrate on playing their games. And then the big channels get so many donations when financially speaking, they don't even need the money. And then it's the little channels like me. Well, the number says little. Little channels like me who can barely get anyone to donate a damn thing. But you get people donate money to people who already got money. I would love to be those gaming, those gaming channels where I get so much freaking donations where I got to tell them to stop because the big is getting on my nerve. Talk about just, wow, luck. Ching, 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 ching. I mean, that is nice. I have to work my ass off everything I get, okay? Nothing came free to me, nothing. My patrons are godsend. I pray for you all the time. Trust me, if I ever win a million dollars, I'm giving you all some money, okay? Because y'all stuck with me through thick and thin. I have your names, so I'm not lying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, looks like we got a call here. Hello, you live with Keisha. Who am I speaking with? Hey, what's up, Keisha? This is Jack. Oh, how you doing? You said Jack. Good. How you doing today, beautiful queen? Oh, I'm hanging in there. How are you doing today? Let me adjust this mic. I'm doing good, actually. Oh, that's good to hear. Considering the circumstances, that's really good to hear. So, listen, I have a quick question for you. I don't know if you could help me with this. But I recently was able to take advantage of, um, you know, I didn't go out with the uh, uh, people alone or, um, or the unemployment. Uh, I didn't get into that during the pandemic. However... I was able to take advantage of a little-known um, program that the government offered through uh, COVID relief where they basically have paid all of my bills uh, through the first of the year. They pay my, um, pay my utilities, everything. And so I'm going to basically have a little bit of extra income over the next few months that I would not have had previously. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking for sound advice in terms of what should I do with this little cash that I'm going to be supplemental. You know, I want to get up into investing. Um, you know, what, what when you come across a, you know, a few extra ends mm -hmm. um, that you weren't expecting because the application was approved. And oh, that's fantastic. Uh, Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just able to got the news yesterday. That the uh, they're going to send my my uh, landlord like a five thousand dollar check to cover all of them. Through, That's so um, great. You know, and basically, you have to be affected by COVID or say you was affected by COVID. And mm -hmm. I was. I mean, the economy went bad, and you know, just uh, uh, food went up, gas went everything up. So, so I was able to to uh, take advantage of that. So that's like the only. Uh, COVID relief program that I took advantage of during the pandemic is this uh, That's a great. program called the Sarah program. 
That's great. I haven't been able to get any relief from this. Rent nothing. <laughs> but that is yeah, great. I, I wasn't able to get anything. The, yeah. No, I didn't get no PPP. And I know family members that um, got $20,000, $20,000 here and $20,000 there. But I just was too concerned about the, um, the blowback. Uh, you know, the government, when they come at you, they want theirs. And so my cousins, their rationale was, well, if they do come back, you know, they'll put, you know, you know, zero interest, zero, zero to one percent interest and pay it back. But, you know, we're going to money. And they did. Mm. But I didn't uh, I didn't take advantage of any of that or um, the insurance uh, unemployment. Uh, uh, well, I'm not going to say scam the unemployment um, situation. I'll say that. Um, so I got none of that relief, you know, and I knew people that, you know, got new parents, knew this, knew that, mm -hmm. um, but I didn't take advantage of none of that. But the, uh, but this right here is the only thing I was able to get was the, uh, the, uh, the Sarah program where they play, you know, they pay your rent up for, you know, a um, few months, but don't uh, the pay landlord, off all your bills. Don't the landlord have to agree to something like that for, you know, him to be paid? Yes. For Oh, my landlord, please. No. Uh-uh. No. Yeah, I, I called my landlord. My landlord and let, is greasy, though. He's going not going to anything. And they was, they was with it, you know. And so I essentially I paying rent in um, June. And so that's when the application went in. Mm -hmm. And so my landlord has been very understanding because we got a real good relationship. That's good. And that's I was good. just telling him, yeah, I said, look. Just hang in there with me, you know. And I went up, and I went by faith, not even knowing that I was going to be approved. Mm. But I went by faith, and and so from June until just yesterday is when they came and said that I had been approved, and she came, and they was going to send the landlord a check for five thousand dollars, and you know. So that's the only thing I was able to take advantage of with this program. Mm. That is fantastic. That is great. That is great. In terms of investing, I, I believe you probably already have bills you have to pay and a family to take her home. So, <laughs> I say handle your business first. Yes. <laughs> you know, I mean, your foundation has to be solid in order for you to give to others, you know, or everything is going to crumble. So, I say handle your business first. Take care of your family. If you have kids, your kids, and whatever left over. And you can actually exhale uh -huh. knowing that everything is finally solid. Bills are paid, my kids are paid, my wife is paid, your boyfriend, whatever. Okay, let's go out to eat. You know, <laughs> you don't feel bad when you do that. <laughs> so I say take care of your business first and whatever is left over. Splurge, have fun, do whatever you want to do. That's the best advice I can give you. Do not go and splurge you know, anything that you're going to regret spending on later. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, that's what I recommend doing. Yeah. And congratulations. My landlord is not going to do anything. He's greedy as hell. So he's not going to agree to yeah, nothing. Yeah, I was sitting, sitting around watching everybody get these PPP loans and these oh. unemployment checks but, for the whole mm. year. And I didn't get none of that. Well, you know, send me information. You said, was it Sarah or something like that? Yeah, it's called Sarah, C-E-R-A. C-E-R-A. Send me some information. And Email should be in my description box. I would love to, you know, uh, research that and send it to people who can really, really use it. I will research, but I know my daughter is not going to be down for it. But I know other people who can really use that information. And thank you so much for giving. I'm sure people are listening. They better be listening. Put that in the comment section if you can, too. <laughs> they could probably use that information, too. Definitely, uh, Keisha. I appreciate your platform. I've oh, been watching you. you for quite some time. And, thank you. Um, just thank you. Just a, uh, I like your delivery and, and how you do things. So, uh, so it was good to see you live. Do go live more often. I try. I try. And thank you for supporting me. And congratulations. Good luck to you and your family. Okay. Thank you so much. God bless. Same to you. Bye. And I. Shoot, sorry. Sorry, caller.
If the caller is watching, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to hang up that fast. I am so sorry. I thought the call was ended. I'm so sorry. Ugh, the awkward linging on the phone afterwards. I have a habit of doing that. So I just hung up fast because of insecurities. I am so sorry. Ugh, <laughs> sorry. But yeah, he was talking about some ways to get money. And I told him to put that link in the comment section or email it to me. And I'm going to go ahead and post about it. You know, this will probably help you guys a lot. I know my landlord is not going to be down for it. I do not own my house. Do not own my house. No. Mm -mm. I do have a house, but I don't own it. Nope, don't. Sharon, what are you talking about in the comment section, girl? I'm going to go up and see. Yes, unfortunately. Yes, they are definitely pushing the sick agenda. I just read somewhere that Pfizer is going to be, the booster thing is going to be pushed through through people over 60. And I forgot what else it said. I have, honestly, you know what? Um, this is not all to vaccinators, whoever got vaccinated. But there... <laughs> I'm con no, I haven't got vaccinated, but I have read so many stories where, and I don't even know how to even come. Y'all noticing the time, time frame when it comes to vaccinators, people who got vaccinated because, okay, it seems like 90% of the kids who contracted COVID, their parents have recently got vaccinated. But then I read on Twitter, some lady was like, uh, my grandparents didn't get vaccinated because they don't believe in that. So now my child has COVID. I was like, hold up. Your parents have not been vaccinated this entire time, but your child never got COVID until you got vaccinated. Are you doing the math? And I started to leave that, you know, and put it in the feed, the trend that was going through Twitter because I have it all on my, um, my um, computer here. And but I didn't because I'm like, she's not going to get it anyway. But someone kind of put that in there. She was like, okay, we're vaccinated. People are the ones who are spreading the, the uh, COVID more than people who are not vaccinated. You know what I mean? But that kind of information don't get pushed to the forefront of the media. I just know that it's kind of strange because people are dropping dead and no one's telling us why they're dropping dead. But all of these people who have been dro dropping dead without any pre-medical conditions have been previ previously vaccinated. And no one's saying anything. They're still pushing the vac vaccine. You get vaccine or you're going to just not live. You know, raise your car, damn it. I mean, it's getting to that point where it's really crazy. And it scares me. You know what I mean? Because I'm afraid for my life. You know, my husband got vac vaccinated. He was kind of forced into the whole vaccine. You know, they was forcing him to do it. He's running around here saying he's fine, and I'm praying that he's fine. I mean, he, praying nothing happens to him. I mean, aside for his shortcomings, if you read my blog. But I don't want anything to happen to him. Hold on, what are you guys are talking about Xanax for? Hold on. Let me go back, because I'm missing the whole subject in the comment section. Hold on. Uh, okay. Uh, Sharon came home, hospital. I know, I know. A lot of people are still having the COVID, yeah. Or the flu, or whatever you want to call it. You do know it's cold and flu season. This, <laughs> it could just be a cold, you know. Uh, let's see here. Sharon, no mine is bad. I was 2.5 weeks and going tomorrow. Plus, I have lupus. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about baby dad. I hope you're okay. Hope you pull through. But you're saying was, well, so I'm assuming this was in the past. So I'm glad you pulled through. Didn't they know you are? Okay. Uh, show that. I never tried Xanax. I don't do pills. Let me just notate life right now so you guys can know if anything happens to me, God forbid. I don't take pills. I refuse to take headache med medication. I refuse to take any medication, period. My husband is the pill addict. I am not, I don't like taking pills at all, at all, at all, at all. And I'm not a heavy drinker either. No. And I don't smoke. I'm a vegan. So this is organic, pure body here. Okay? Just saying. 
I was seriously, if I have cramps, I would deal with the cramps before I take a mite all or anything of the nature. If you don't believe me, ask somebody. Just want to point that out. I know the abortion. I know Gloria. I know the abortion, the overlooked tragedy for black Americans by Rep. Walt Blackman 2020 at a ratio of 47, wow, 474 abortions per thousand live births. Black women have the highest ratio of any group in the, I know, I know. And a lot of stillbirths too. But there's a dark side behind the stillbirths. I have read in some um, person's blog where the doctor claimed she had a stillbirth. And then it turns out it wasn't a stillbirth. The child was choked. I mean, I'm sorry. The, the child was a sold in um, underage sex trafficking. Yeah, you right there with me, Scott Punk. I don't either. Gloria, everyone who is vaccinated is vaccine injured, whether it shows up right away or later in life. Dr. Shiv Chopra, BVS, AH, who cares about all that, but <laughs> of the WHO, who, senior scientist at Health Canada. Mm. I eat meat, but I don't drink or smoke either. I'm pretty healthy, don't believe in tablets. I can't even smell meat now. I used to be able to smell meat, but certain meat makes me want to seriously throw up. Ugh. My husband liked to make chicken and fish and stuff. My daughter is a vegan too. I, I can't. I just can't. Just can't. And yes, I recover naturally. I get some um, Theraflu, or I refuse to take pills. I actually Theraflu is pretty much all I do. I'm be just it. I just take Theraflu and I'm fine. Oh, thank you, baby. Doll. I appreciate it. But yes, pure, pure. Um, Remedies is the best way to go, which is what the Haitian um, former leader was trying to push out in terms of the COVID um, colds and things of that nature. But unfortunately, he, you know, got assassinated. That's what he was trying to push out, you know. The unvax need to help the vax. We try to help the vax, SSD Durden, but they treat us like we're ill you know they putting up crosses you know it's really sad because we want to help them but they just don't like they're just not listening some of them are scared because they did get vaccinated and i can understand them being scared but i don't understand why they're making everyone get vaccinated if i'm healthy why are you trying to make me get vaccinated when i'm fine it's just dumb you know the whole thing is crazy I mean, it's going to get worse. Oh, back to the video. Now, here is my theory in pertaining to, how long have I been on? Okay, I'm in, I'm in this live feed in a minute. Here is my theory pertaining to the Haitian border and things and Biden. I have a video coming out. I'm going to go ahead and post the, the thumbnail in a minute. It's going to be on the truth show. Okay, I don't be on, on camera or anything. It's going to be on the truth show because this is a serious topic and, you know, Truth shows for serious topics. Keisha's gossip is for random. Anyway, um, there's a theory that I'm coming with that honestly have been in the back of my mind since his election. And I've been kind of like, okay, you just, here you go with your conspiracy theories, Keisha. Uh, I mean, it, and I just bump it off as if, okay, she's crazy, she's crazy. But I don't think I'm crazy. And when I come up with the theory, when I break it down, I'm going to start the script tomorrow. And um, I'm going to try to start the script tonight. But I have so many scripts that I'm doing. I want to do some missing stories. Someone asked me to do a story about... What's her name? Hold on. Uh, story about... J Gabby Petito... And if someone told me, asked me to do a story or a breakdown about Jelani Day, that young man, I haven't followed his story. So I'm doing a story about him. And then someone asked me to do a bio about, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Michael K. Williams. And then someone asked me to do a bio about Trevor Noah. 
So remember, I'm doing all these researching the scripts myself by working a full time job. So therefore, I have to fit it into my life. And it's going to be kind of late. And I'm really trying to do it all and do live feed and, you know, be participant and answer DMs and juggle three channels. And guess what? I'm doing majority of this shit for free. What I'm saying? I'm doing it for free. I have no team at all. So <laughs> can't even say it enough. The people at the border. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I saw that Haitian thing. I was like, hold up, has Biden even mentioned anything about that Haitian stuff? I mean, has he even mentioned anything at all? I don't think he mentioned anything about that. Huh, interesting. <clears throat> all right, well, anyway, I'm going to end it right here because I do have a lot of work to do and I want to get these scripts done so I can give you guys some information. I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to probably put in my journal, baby doll. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and post that thumbnail for the live feed for the Haitian thing. Please tune in. It's going to be on the truth show. It's going to be some really serious mess. I'm sure they're going to flag it. It'll be on my Patreon account within 24 hours. And I have to post other videos that have been seriously flagged and unable to be publicized on YouTube's platform on my Patreon account. Give me a week. I have it up there. Okay. I have all those unlisted videos. It's been rejected by YouTube. It's a hundred. It's a lot of them. On my Patreon account soon, okay? Just, you know, bear with me here. <laughs> but let me get back to these scripts. I'm going to eat, and then I'm going to get back to the scripts that I'm writing. And i see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow, if I'm done with the script. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully, for the live show of the Haitian ordeal and how this all kind kind of connects together this may be it may be a bigger picture to this whole thing so with that said i love you okay